in his regular weekly appearance on, on radio in Dallas saying that it is preposterous to even consider that Mike McCarthy would not be back as coach next year. And, of course, Jerry gets to make that decision. It's his team. He is the owner and the general manager. But Dominique Foxworth pointed out something I thought on Get Up that was worth considering today. Dak Prescott really should have some say in this decision because they decided not to extend Dak Prescott and give him a big contract. They franchise tagged him. So now Dak is in a position where he could choose to leave or go somewhere else or potentially pressure a trade or wait till he gets to a free agency. That was a mistake. But that gives him so much power in this situation that I think he has to be on board for whatever coach they keep or decide to bring in. So if I was Jerry Jones, rather than going on the radio, I would go to Dak Prescott's house and try to convince him that this is the right move or find out what he thinks the right move is at this time. It will be interesting. The idea that Jerry is going to consult Dak, I think, look, I don't know the inner workings of that situation, but I would not expect that to happen. And Dak doesn't have to say a word because he can do it with his actions. He either believes in what they're doing there or he doesn't. If he doesn't believe in it, that could just be another log on the fire of all the people saying... Dak Prescott should want out of there. You heard Marcus Spears say it on NFL Live last week. He came on this show and said it again. We've had multiple people say that on now all of a sudden. That is starting to become a more commonplace perspective, that Dak should want out of there. Cowboys aren't going anywhere good fast. I am of the opinion, you just heard Daryl Johnston disagree, and that's fine. He has a different take on it, and, 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 and as well he should, or, or whatever his opinion is, he's entitled to it. Obviously, he knows a lot about it. But it is my opinion from the relative distance at which I sit that the Cowboys should blow it up, hit the plunger. And that means figuring out a way to maximize the value of your assets and start all over again. And your biggest asset is Dak Prescott and the colossal mistake that you made in not having him under contract long term, which will greatly limit the value of him in any kind of trade scenario. But the Dallas Cowboys aren't getting good fast. They're just not. That, that, that whole thing doesn't work. You need to remake that entire defense. You need to figure out what you're going to do about Zeke's contract. Zeke Elliott will be the highest paid running back in the NFL next year. How's that look right now? You got all this capital um, invested in wide receivers. Having three good, like three top level wide receivers on a team that is four and nine is like having super expensive rims on a car that has no engine. Like it's, it is as big a waste as you can possibly have. There's no point in having C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper on a team that has four wins, on a team whose defense can't stop anybody, and whose offense has been bad. That offense is 21st in the sport this year. 21st. They have the highest paid backup, or one of the highest paid backups, and certainly one of the, the if not the most experienced backup quarterback in the league. When Dak went down, it was devastating, but it shouldn't have ended their season. Andy Dalton was as ready to step in and play decent football as any backup in the sport could possibly be. Shouldn't have killed your season. They've had a million other things happen. So I don't believe the Cowboys are close. But one way or another, Dak Prescott should have and will in his own way have a say in what the future looks like there. And if the decision is going to be McCarthy, you'll know what Dak Prescott thinks of it whether he says anything about it or not. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.